I'm going to start by opening the glove box and there's a shock absorber strap here. This basically just prevents the glove box from slamming open. With that unhooked, push in on both sides of the glove box to unhook the tabs that hold it in and then pull it right out. Now, right over here, you can locate the blend door actuator or motor. At the top, it has an electrical connector. Go ahead and unplug that. Just press on the tab and pull it up. With a screwdriver, remove both of these screws that hold the motor in place. This one, I'm gonna attempt to get with a ratcheting screwdriver. There's the second one. And now you can wiggle the motor. And oh, there you go, pull it right off. Now, if you think that your blend door is stuck or is being prevented from opening or closing all the way, you can take this knob right here and actually turn it all the way. Make sure it spins. It's supposed to go from basically lock to lock, end to end here. And this one does, it spins very freely, that's perfect. Now, here's the tricky part. You have to line up this to match with this. And I know that when this is up, it's at the hot position. When this is down, it's at the cold position. And it's easiest for me to install the new motor with it in the cold position because naturally this wants to fall down. So what I'm gonna do is plug in my new motor. With it plugged in and the key in the on position, I'm gonna turn the temperature all the way down. You can see the motor moves. Now the reason I wanna do this is because if the door is in the closed position, so in the cold position, but the, your old motor was in the hot position, then the climate control computer is gonna think that the motor is still in the hot position, so when you go to make it colder, it's gonna try and close this door, but it's already closed, so it's just gonna burn out the motor. So you want the motor and the blend door to be in the same position. Now with the ignition turned off, go ahead and line up the motor with the screw holes, put it into the uh, blend door right here. You don't have to unplug it for this. Uh, might as well keep it plugged in. Start the two screws and snug them down. Keep in mind, these don't have to be extremely tight because they're just going into plastic. All right, now you can test it again if you'd like to. I know mine is good. So to put the glove box back here, you'll see all along the bottom it has these hooks. There's four in total. Those need to line up with these areas here. But at the same time, don't forget to reconnect your strap here. And you want to pull this out before the glove box goes on. Otherwise, you won't be able to reach it. So go ahead and line up all those hooks on the bottom. Make sure they slide in all the way. Now push up your, uh, your glove box. and connect your strap. And now close the glove box. If for some reason it's hard to close and it feels like it doesn't line up, it's most likely because the hooks on the bottom are not fully engaged. So just double check those, then you should be all set.